Hello everyone, welcome to Learn More Flow. In this video, we will talk about top 5 Visual Studio Code extensions that are extremely important for Python and data science. So, we'll sh I'll show you such extensions of Visual Studio Code that you should have uh, in your uh, computer installed. And I'm I will show you how that those extensions will help you in your coding right so, so the first one in the list is Jupyter Notebook you can find all this extensions by simply going to this extension or marketplace area on uh, Visual Studio Code just click here you will find a search area and just search over here what are the the extension names i am telling you and you will find the extension okay so here jupyter notebook or you can say the formerly it was known as ipython notebook or intelligent python notebook is actually open source project that lets you easily combine the markdown text and executable python source code on one canvas called a notebook okay so there you can uh, see how this uh, works this actually helps you to write this kind of uh, ipython ip nyb files uh, here you can do exactly what things you do on your jupyter notebook so this is an extension for visual studio code that helps you create jupyter notebooks okay so moving on to the second one in the list is ar epl look here this is AR APL what this does whenever you write something in Python uh, look at this demo they put up here whenever you write something in Python it again it simply shows you the uh, value that you are trying to print or it directly shows you the error or whatever is there right so this automatically evaluates your python code in real time as you type those okay so this is what it does in jupyter notebook uh, in ar epl for python moving on to the third one in the list is dash dash just search over here dash and you'll find this so this dash is an api documentation browser and code snippet manager for mac os but this dash is actually the documentation oh, and you can try any programming documentation offline okay so here you can see uh, that directly they show they give you a demo how you can do this here you can uh, see what the documentation of a particular function or particular thing that you're working on what is that's documentation so dash is uh, works in such a manner this helps you uh, give the documentation of the file moving on to the fourth one in the list is uh, visual studio intellicode so or better will we call it intellicode so IntelliCode helps you in auto completion and that too in a smart way based on the most used word by the programmer whatever you use the most that's way IntelliCode helps you in uh, auto completion look at the demo they put up here so it, it says you can see that easily it uh, gives you that auto completion demo and you can type on a much faster on m very easily and much faster right so this extension provides an AI assisted intelligence by showing recommendations uh, completion items for code contained at the top of the completion list okay so this the, this example that you can see here is actually what it does for you moving on to the last and the final one in the list is auto doc string this is auto doc string or better say python doc string generator okay so what it does this is an important one if you're writing a, a good program or some good uh, software if it's building some software this documentation uh, generating uh, or better say python doc documentation generator this generates you a doc, a doc string for that look at this um, exact 
way it does you just type the uh, you were just typing a function and in between you just gave a comment line and it gave you the documentation or the required documentation that you should uh, write for the particular function right so this way this helps you in writing documentation and helps you uh, write better code right so i hope i hope this video was helpful for you and those are the five best uh, visual studio code extensions that you should use in your computer and yeah definitely this should help you a lot in uh in your work all right so thank you guys for watching this video i hope i this was helpful for you hope to see you soon in my next video